Okay, before we can start gluing things up, we still got some more sanding to do. Um, we've got to scuff up the surface where these rings are going to be bonded because they're so smooth that the epoxy doesn't have anything to grip to. So we need to position the rings and scuff them up. And we also need to scuff up the end. This is going to be the front. Oops. And the, the eye bolt faces forward. So it's going to go like that. This is going to go on the end like that. And this one's going to go in the middle. All right. It's going to be kind of like that. Now, if you're going to be using the tail cone retainer, you're going to have to move things around. So you need to look where the slots are on the tube. Um, and you can position it anywhere you want, depending on how far back you want this ring to stick out the back. Um, now, if you're using the tail cone retainer, we've got to go back. This ring is going to slide forward quite a bit. So go ahead and let's scuff this up first to make sure that our, our tail cone or our retainers will fit on. And we know that this one on the front end is going to be right at the very end. And you want to leave about one eighth on either side so you can put epoxy on both the front side and the back side. And then we'll just have to find the position of that final ring. So I'm going to go ahead and scuff these up. Um, and I'm going to use the, the Dremel again because it's a little quicker. And since there's going to be a lot of fiberglass floating around, I'll just wear gloves. Okay, I'm going to start with the front ring. Right there. That's for the front ring. Now on the back ring, it's got to be for our retainer so our retainer will fit on easily. Right now it's a real tight fit. I want it a little bit looser than that. Side, you want to make sure it slides all the way to the ring that it butts up against. Okay, so that's that's where I'm going to want that one. Let's see if we can get it back off. Okay, the, the tail cone retainer has a similar ring on the inside. It's a little bit different. Well, no, yeah, it's a little bit different. Tight, so I'm going to sand just a little bit more. Okay. All right, so. Now I'm doing this just so I can see where this ring is going to be positioned. So now this will screw on here like that. See when it's all put together, it'll be like that. Okay, so I can be from this point here, I can see, I just have to be behind the uh, the slot for the fin for the ring. I could be anywhere in there. Um, so if you're using the tail cone retainer, it looks like the furthest that ring can go up is one and three quarter inches from the front edge of this. So measuring from here one and three quarter inches, that's the furthest the ring can go. Uh, but it actually could go anywhere in there. So. 
I can mark this. If you can see that. So that's the, where the front of the tail cone is. So anywhere in front of that will be fine. But I'm not using the tail cone. So for me, it doesn't matter. OK, so since my retainer is going to, I want my retainer to be just to stick out a little bit. Um, if you want it to sit flat on the ground, then you're going to move it forward like that. And it's going to be pretty close to right at the front edge of the retainer. Um, I'll go ahead and do it this way. So I'm going to mark it here. So you can see my mark right there. And that mark is about 3 quarters of an inch. So I'm just going to scuff all the way around like we did before. And then we'll be ready to start gluing things up. Okay, so I measured three quarters of an inch before, so that is where my ring is going to go. Okay, we're ready to start mixing up epoxy, and this is going to get a little bit messier. So you might want to cover your work table with some like plastic. I don't have any with me, but normally I would. Um, we're going to need epoxy, and I'm using five minute epoxy here. I need a stir stick and probably lots of paper towels. Okay, so remember, this one's going to be bonded on the front end like that. This one's going to be bonded on the rear. Um, if you want, this would make a lot of sense. On the flat, which we made before, go ahead and put a line on it like that. Do the same thing on the back ring. Um, and then let's draw a line down the tube. And then this, this will be on that line. This is the front end. See, there's my line right there. So that's how that one's going to be bonded. And then the back one will be right here on our ring. And if you're using the tail cone retainer, that's where that would go. All right, so we want equal parts of A and B. And you're not going to need a lot. Okay, I'm mixed up. <laughs> I sure am mixed up, aren't I? <laughs> okay, so I'm going to take this and just go around the perimeter of the tube. my front ring, slide it in, do the same for the back ring. And when you put this on, make sure you don't get any on the back edge or else you're going to have to sand it off when you try to put your retainer on. sure that it's 90 degrees up and this one kind of rotated around so I'm just aligning my marks up again so that it will slide into the tube 
and there's no reason why I can't go ahead and bond this on um, unless you want to bond it on later after you paint your rocket you know since it's a nice color black some people like don't want to repaint them so maybe you want to hold off on putting this on until later um, you can always wrap masking tape around it um, while while you paint it and you want to rotate this around I can see my epoxy is oozing a little bit um, so I'm just going to kind of rotate it around this is five minute epoxy so in about three minutes it'll start setting up and then it won't run so much and then I can set it down 